Hello, and welcome to Cornwall. My name's Andy Paramore. This is Andy's Cornish Creations. In this video, I'm going to be making a pendant out of resin, and it's a it's an orange coloured resin mixed with a gold um, tinted resin uh, poured into a yogurt pot, and hopefully I'm going to put it on my um, on my little jig that does an off center for the hole and you'll see what happens um, later on in the video but um, hopefully it'll turn out nice and it's a little bit different from some of the usual stuff um, yes uh, on a personal note I would like to um, thank all the people that have uh, left a comment recently and um, and it uh, it does it means a lot and it's uh, very nice of you all to have left those comments so thank you very much um, anyway without further ado I will get this onto the lathe and we'll start turning Okay, we're at the lathe. I've got my little off-center pendant jig set up. I've got uh, double-sided sticky tape on it and uh, and the resin blank that I've made is going to go on there. I want to try and keep it central so that uh, so I'm not losing much of the size because it's not far off the size I want it. So I've marked the center. I've put a little tiny little uh, indent in the center so I'll use my tailstock to line it up and just gently press it up against the double sided tape I'm not going to press too hard that's literally just to line it up and take it away because it's not too thick and I can't afford to lose much material off there so um, press that on nice and firmly right that should be okay Uh, I've put a, this little block of resin here just um, so that the point of the tailstock isn't uh, isn't going against the uh, piece and so I can still maintain a bit of tailstock support because while I'm turning it around there's still quite a lot of pressure there and it is only stuck on with some um, double sided tape so I'll get it to round and get uh, get a bit of shape to it before I take that away Twelve hundred revs, and I'm using my um, five eighths spinter gouge. Was it three eighths? Three-eighths spindle gouge. I should know that by now. I've had it years. Thank you. 
I'll take that tailstock support away. And I'll uh, flatten off the face. Okay, we'll sand it down now to uh, 400 grit. Turn the speed down to 600. You don't want it too hot when we're sanding it down, especially with the resin, because um, it actually starts to go soft if you get it too hot, and uh, no, we don't want that. I have some uh, tea cut. It's a car scratch remover. It seems to work quite well on the resins. quite nice. Right, so this is the bit where I uh, not that bit. remove the block. I have got a video doing one of these pendants before that shows the uh, shows the block. So I've turned it to round in that um, oops I've turned it to round in that central hole and then I've got a hole that's about 10 mil off center that I can screw now onto the worm screw and that will take me off center. Spin that up and just put a little mark where the center of that is. You can see that's off center and in just the right place for a hole to put your string through for a pendant. So now I'm ready to drill. Uh, this is a 12 mil um, Forstner bit. I'll drill the hole in. Again, we're still at 600 revs per minute. Hoping that this is going to leave a nice, neat hole at, at the back. Nice 
nice and tidy. So all we need to do now is I just like to round off that so it's not so sharp. And uh, I'll have a little half inch um, round scrape scraper scrape a round scraper just to just to take that round there. sand this up to 400 just like we did previously thin scraper get it behind oh, yeah I know why it's need polishing because the resin's gone quite soft I feel it bending hopefully that'll stiffen up again when it's uh, when it's hardened up might be able to give it another polish then uh, I'll remove remove that glue in a second uh, not quite achieved the, uh, the shine that I would have liked, so I'm going to try it with a clear coat of uh, lacquer. For a few minutes while I have a coffee. Uh, a leather necklace, for want of a better word, leather cord with the clasps on the end. Tiny top on there, nice and neat, and there we have it. Okay, so there we have it. A resin pendant made from um, a resin split into two halves, one half with orange dyeing and the other half with gold um, mica powder. And then uh, I left it to get to a certain temperature. It was something like 90 something degrees. Before I mixed it together, so it didn't, uh, so it, it stayed separate um, a little bit, which kind of worked. Uh, but I think the resin is, I've had it for a long time, and I think it's a bit past its sell-by date. So I won't say where I got the resin from because I don't think it's really doing it justice. Um, because I don't think it's completely set. It's still a little bit of movement in it, so it's not set really hard, which is why I don't think it uh, took a really good finish. Um, but uh, but it looks okay with the um, with the spray on. Uh, but the overall effect with the colours is quite nice, and uh, and of course the pendant making with the jig is uh, is good fun to do. Um, but anyway, there you go, a nice simple project. And um, 
as you may have heard it's been raining today it's the 1st of August and it's uh, <laughs> it's been a bit of a miserable day um, but uh, but anyway nothing new there as any of my regulars will have uh, <laughs> will know um, so from a damp and rainy Cornwall my name's Andy Paramore this is Andy's Cornish Creations and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.